Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, People Mover Inc. Where, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of uh, rail lines uh, kicking about, which have uh, have been operating. Uh, just uh, I've run things forward a little bit to get some cash, as you can see from this readout here. There's quite a bit of uh, cash flow happening, and that's uh, that's good. It means a bunch of of cash has come in. Uh, I've done a couple of uh, updates while you were away. Uh, I uh, readjusted some intercity roads, uh, made a couple of uh, uh, local uh, uh, tram routes, and I did some investigation, and I've decided what the next project's going to be. I had originally thought I would keep spreading out this way, and maybe run, you know, Charlotte to Richmond or something like that. But no, instead, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, spread out from Huntsville. Now, Huntsville has lots of room here for a sort of uh, hub type station, which can expand later, right? And uh, it occurred to me that a good line to follow for uh, a main line type operation will be to come down from Huntsville, come through Chicago, and then down through Chandler, Glendale, and Waco, and uh, maybe terminate at Waco and then have a different line that picks up from there, like Garland, Durham, Waco, right? That's what I was thinking, right? Uh, and I, I think that's probably going to be a, a good project uh, to uh, get started on here. And I started out, uh, I did make an edit to the road at uh, Chicago, because uh, I'm going to put the station on an angle going through here, uh, in over here. Now, eventually, I suspect I'm going to have a line coming up from Hayward into Chicago, and maybe up into Daly City, or maybe over into Columbia. Uh I'm not sure, but there will likely be an intersecting line in Chicago, and it'll it'll come somehow through this spot as well. So, the uh, but the the main main uh, project here that I'm going to get started on, and I'm not going to bore you with doing it in real time. Uh, assuming I remember to edit this, uh, I will uh, in fact uh, time lapse it or montage it or something like that. Probably a time lapse. And then you can uh, you can be uh, absolutely uh, 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 well I don't know nauseous or dizzy or something after you finish uh, watching it or something. Uh, but anyway, the idea is just to give you the uh, the rundown. I'll be coming out of the Huntsville station on this existing uh, track stub. I'll come through a station here, and there'll be a station probably in here. And there'll be a station somewhere around here, and there'll be a station somewhere in here. Uh, and that's uh, and that's going to be uh, the the project, right? So let's uh, let's without any further ado, I will get uh, get that going, and uh, here we go.
Well, that's uh, 15 minutes or so that uh, got compressed down nicely, I'm sure. Uh, and now it's uh, time to uh, run a uh, run some trains on that new line, uh, which goes from Huntsville to Waco, uh, which uh, we have a train being launched here. Uh, and actually, before I forget, I'm going to rename the line. No, manage line. Uh, right. So it's going to be HNTSV to Waco. Yes. Okay. Uh, right. So I put four trains on. Uh, because it's a, a multi-city uh, hop. I haven't put the local transport in in the uh, towns. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to ride the train. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to go back on here. Now, this, is good. this should start out heading for Waco directly instead of Huntsville. And, uh, yes, it is, in fact, doing that. So, what I did... I did also build one extra track from the old Durham uh, terminus to uh, to Waco. That will serve the uh, base as the basis of probably the next project, uh, which uh, will connect uh, Waco to uh, Durham and points beyond in both directions, possibly. So what we're waiting for here is a train. Uh, uh, really, uh, we're waiting for a train uh, at a track junction. Yeah, yeah, we, we are in fact waiting for a train at a track junction. Uh, right, now are we just blocked? Um, no, we're waiting for a train over there, okay. Now, the question is going to be, uh, will we get to go first? Look at that. There's a train coming. Yay! I mean, terribly exciting, really. Uh, oh, look, a horse cart's going by. Yeah, you know, there's a road there. Uh, I mean, seriously, uh, we put a road there. Uh, right, let's just um, speed things up a little bit here. We'll go to max uh, standard speed, and off we go. Okay, now I'm going to run this mostly in the max speed here, so this doesn't take a month of uh, Mondays. So we're in our, our original uh, Durham track link here. Uh, we're going to go through the station, uh, single track wise, right? Um, yep, through the station. And now here's the new track, which will have this nice bend here in uh, Durham. And now we're going to uh, just head on down to Waco. Where the station in Waco is in the middle of the town. And as you can see here, we're just coming in through the scrub and... Uh, cross a couple of uh, roads and here is the Waco station uh, the track does have a divergence here uh, because I needed the divergence fairly tight in for my plan I put the crossover on the diverging track uh, there's a passing place there and then we're off to uh, through the wilderness heading for Glendale which is not that far down the, down the line. Uh, mostly the track is level uh, through here. Uh, so that's going to uh, keep the trains moving uh, relatively nicely. And here we go, coming into uh, Glendale. Uh, and now I put a passing place at both ends of uh, all the uh, stations. Uh, oh look, we picked up four passengers here, or... Yeah, I don't think we picked any up at uh, Waco. Okay, now we'll continue on here. Uh, and here, there's a nice uh, cut uh, through the landscape instead of building a tunnel. 
there is a bit of a slope going on in this area too, I believe. But anyway, I thought the uh, cut here was much nicer than the tunnel, so I went with that. And here we are up at uh, Chandler, where the station is on the edge of town. Oh, look, we picked up more people. I mean, hey, that's not so bad. You know, there's people using it already. Uh, and then from here, we head on to Chicago. Uh, this needed to go a little bit around the uh, mountains there on the left, right? Left, right, yeah. Uh, okay, but around the uh, Mesa thingy there, uh, mountain. Uh, and then we're going to roll on into uh, Chicago here. Again, uh, this is uh, on the edge of town. And this is where I put the, uh, the angled road in. And we picked up 28 people total so far. Uh, and now we head on off past the cactus there to... Uh, to Huntsville. Uh, again, this is mostly level, uh, and the slalom here is really just to get around the uh, road uh, network the, and the landforms here. Uh, as, as you can see, I built the embankments. Uh, you, you know, I just went for the embankments there uh, just to keep the track relatively level. And here we are coming into Huntsville uh, where there's a passing place and we need to wait for access to the station. Now, I believe I'm going to need to expand the Huntsville station, uh, rework it uh, probably to four platforms. Uh, I'm not 100% sure uh, what I want to do there, but I don't have the cash to do anything much more exciting. I, in fact, borrowed a half, half of the uh, potential loan amount to buy the trains for this, this new line. But we're going to have proper traffic here, and that uh, that's going to be uh, a thing, right? So, yeah. Well, here we go. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is all terribly exciting, isn't it? Uh, we're going to drop off our passengers. We're going to load up probably well a half load, and then head off back in the other direction. So, overall, uh, this project here. Uh, has uh, expanded the scope of the network. You know, we just come out of here. Uh, now we've got to wait for our train coming the other way, right? The, our new trains need to space out. So this will expand the uh, utility of the network quite uh, substantially. And when I put in the... Yeah, the next one's probably going to be Garland, Durham, Waco, Tampa. Probably exactly that. And maybe Fontana. Maybe. Uh, right. So, uh, I, I just want to make an observation. Uh, so, later, once I've got most of the, uh, the core uh, passenger network constructed, I will probably let time run forward a little bit. And as you can see, uh, these uh, towns here are really quite close together, right? So this whole area will probably turn into a, uh, if I ran this up to 2050, would probably run uh, turn into a massive uh, urban agglomeration. And, you know, that would be an interesting thing to, uh, to, to uh, observe. Uh, certainly, uh, Tampa, Waco, they'll uh, end up running into each other. Uh, 96 versus... Yeah, they probably would. Durham... Yeah, Durham will get pretty big. Uh, some of these guys over here may may as well. And just keep in mind that uh, if I run time forward and deploy faster trains and everything on these lines, uh, there will be much better passenger transport uh, and all of that. And that will greatly improve the growth uh, multiplier, right? Or the population multiplier. And that, uh, that will make a huge 
overall difference. Right. So, uh, probably the next project is going to be around uh, through Waco, uh, going at least Tampa up to Garland. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do. Uh, Norman here is off in the in the sticks. Uh, I mean, Tampa all the way to Fort Collins might make sense. Yeah, Fort Collins. And Co Fort Collins could be a split point. Yeah, it could. Oh, oh, this would be tasteful, wouldn't it? A line from Fort Collins through the gap here uh, and through here uh, into Peoria. Oh, that would be tasteful. Yeah. I'll forget about that. Uh, but anyway, Fort Collins as a divergence point or a hub, that would make some sense. Okay. That's probably what, I'll go, what I'm going to do if I remember. Uh, anyway, uh, that was a project. And yeah. I mean, if we just take a look in here. Uh, so I've got two and a half million in loan. But here's where I bought the trains and everything. Uh, and here I'm up a uh, quarter mil, one mil, around a quarter mil again. Uh, so there's good cash flow. Uh, so it's, it's perfectly uh, uh, perfectly functional to, uh, to borrow some cash to buy trains. Uh, yeah, uh, so anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, end the episode here. Uh, and th the whole reason for that is uh, the next project is a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm going to have to do some stuff at Durham. Uh, and I think I'll, I'll show a little bit more of that one, but eh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, anyway, uh, just before I go, I'll mention that I do have a Patreon, which, uh, you know, you'll find the link for that. It'll be in the description, you know, if you feel like you want to support the channel. I mean, it's an option, right? Uh, you can ignore the link in the description if you don't want to support the channel. That's fine, too. Uh, but, you, you know, there's also the free options, you know, like, comment, subscribe. You know, you can do that, too. Uh, or not. Uh, entirely uh, your choice, right? You know, you can do one or the other or neither or, or both or whatever, right? Uh, but anyway, all of that said, uh, you know, I guess see you back next time.